The other day I went to the park to drink mate, which is an Argentinian infusion, and I went by myself, so I tried not to distract myself so much with my phone, so I kind of forced myself to be as present as possible. Since it was Sunday, there were all kinds of people, kids, teenagers, adults, and old people. However, there was one thing that called my attention deeply. Every teenager and young adult seemed to have this boring and kind of grey and meaningless expression in their faces. On the other hand, older people and kids were having the time of their lives, enjoying the present moment to the max. So why did the older guys have everything figured out and why did teenagers seemed that they were lacking this kind of vitality? The older guys had these little things right. You know, they just enjoyed life and they were less worried about what other people would think, even though their life is potentially much, much, much more difficult and stressful than ours. When I was young, I was always told to enjoy my teenage years, because then I would get a job and become a bummed old person. Why teenagers who are not fulfilled with life? How come we care about everything? and what everyone says. Why haven't we figured things out? When I say Gen Z, I'm also including myself. Gen Z is the first generation characterized by mental health issues, lack of purpose, and loneliness. And why did good mental health, purpose, and active social life came fairly easy to our parents? Why did our parents achieve much more than us when they were young? and we are not even close to that. When we were teenagers, we have a lot of questions. How do I make new friends? How can I get girls? How can I find my purpose? What can I do with these negative thoughts that come to my head? What the hell should I do with my life? Well, let's go one by one. So we will cover why our parents seem to do much better than us, why do we feel this way, and how we can get our shit together. First and foremost, why our parents did much better than us. I'm assuming that you're a Gen Z, so your parents might be around 45 to 60 years approximately. We think of much better as having a good job, getting married and having a house. But let's analyze a few things. Number one, how many paths did our parents have to choose? I mean, this kind of traditional path really took some pressure off our parents. You already knew that the best way to live life was to finish high school, get a job, or go to college to be a doctor, an accountant, a lawyer, or an engineer. Then find a partner to share life with, have kids, and save money for retirement. If you want it, you could start your own business. Believe in God, go to church, treasure family, and make friends whenever you can, because there is no social media. This kind of path brought order, peace of mind, and stability to our parents. They had figured things out because this was kind of the norm. You can fuck around a little bit when you're young, but if you get carried away too much, we will discipline yourself and probably kick your ass, and we will get you on the right path. Number two, is that kind of life the one that we truly want? As Gen Z individuals, we always say that we will not make the same mistakes as our parents while bringing us up. So we reject this order that our parents brought to us. We didn't like when we couldn't do some stuff, so we say that our kids will have allowed everything to do and we will not discipline them. So we translate this kind of values to our own life. Because of this, we lack discipline, motivation, ambition, and the ability to postpone gratification. We gave ourselves too much freedom only to realize that we needed to come back to this kind of traditional path. However, this kind of traditional path is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, we tend to like this path because we know it works. Our parents made it work out. On the other hand, we are kind of giving up our dreams so and our true desires to a secure lifestyle. So this will bring you this constant feeling of doubting yourself and this anxiety that will spike. To solve this kind of situation, here's an actionable step to rethink your true desires. Number one, sit and journal about what path you may follow. A nice question to ask yourself is what do you want to want? Number two, channel every thought you have on to this piece of paper. Number three, think about how you can combine what you want with the, this kind of core values of the traditional path. 
which is order, discipline, motivation. In the second part of the video, we'll see why do we feel so directionless. As young individuals, we are not used to making decisions. Our parents did that for ourselves and right now we depend on that cool friend who knows where we are going to eat and it's brave enough to talk to the pizza delivery guy. Since we're not used to making decisions, we wish we had this unique life path option to follow. Because sometimes you say that you want freedom, but then when you're given true freedom, you feel fucking lost. But sorry baby, the modern world has opened the doors to live life to its fullest potential. The traditional path is still there, but you're constantly watching celebrities and cool people on social media do stuff that you wish you could and stuff that you wouldn't have imagined that you could do. So the negative thoughts comes in. What if the path that I'm going to choose is not the best? Because we can figure things out because there are too many opinions, options and lifestyles to choose. So in this dichotomy, we want to choose the best one, only to realize that no path is perfect. So to avoid following a path, we do not make any decision till the last minute and cope our way towards. We summon fantasy, dopamine and all of these distractions that the modern world has created for us. But constantly being exposed to social media expose us to the life that we could be living or the life that we are supposed to want. We see the Lambos, the girls, the huge houses and now we daydream about this lifestyle while we are at school or work, but still without making a decision. And the modern world circle of anxiety begins. I don't know what to do with my life. Well, I'll decide later. Let's watch some TikToks. State video shows up. Come on, you pussy, get to work. What color is your Bugatti? Oh man, I want to be like Mr. Tate, but I don't know what to do. There are too many options. Nah. Let's open League of Legends and now and kick some ass. You are still directionless. You're good for nothing. Your life will be miserable. So we can sum this section up in a few topics. Number one, we are not able to make a decision between all the new paths we have right now. Number two, we distract ourselves with dopamine addictions to avoid thinking. And number three, we are not experiencing things and trying because we are afraid to hurt our social media created lifestyle. How the fuck can I get my life together? First of all, there is no need to figure things out right now, but you have to move towards something. What a man actually needs is not a tensionless state, but rather the striving and struggling for some goal worthy of him. What he needs is not a discharge of tension at any cost, but the call of a potential meaning waiting to be fulfilled by him. The things that came so natural to our parents are things that now we need to level up intentionally because the world is not fomenting this anymore. Social media tries to replace this kind of sense of community, so we need intentionally to develop our social skills to counterattack social media. Dating apps are making it too easy to get to know new partners, so we need to level up this risk and we need to level up this kind of charismatic personality to get girls. So the few friends you have left, please go out with them. Staying and playing video games is not an option. Meet your friends' friends, go to parties, get to know people, expand your social circle. And by getting to know more people, it's very logic that you'll potentially meet humans that fit really well with you and probably potential partners. There is no need for dating apps and social media and all that shit. Mental health will be a minor issue if you're actively pursuing something. First, get help from a professional if you need to, and then actively seek something in your life. It even may be the betterment of yourself. If you want to look better, go on walks, eat a healthy breakfast, and take care of your skin. Start really small because failure doesn't exist. Learning is the only thing that exists. We talked about purpose earlier and this section is probably the most important in all of the video. Purpose is the most important thing in our lives. Getting our shit together means get everything in your life oriented towards a pursuit bigger than ourselves. But how do we find our purpose? First, we need to realize that we have infinite potential. With the opportunities and resources we have, we can practically do anything we want. New technologies, new resources, AI tools, everything can help you craft this life that you want. So you can stop being a doomer and become the main character of your life. Second, 
we need to try new stuff to see what really moves us, what sparks our curiosity. I personally try to be a graphic designer, a music producer, I had a millionaire niche page on Instagram. Like, I failed all of these times to get to a point in life where I think that what I'm doing right now will help me get my shit together. But you need to understand that in a world with so many paths, you just need to choose something, try it out and see how it goes. Failure doesn't exist. You can always get a job if you want, but don't give up on your dream because you lack order and discipline. The more we experience plus the more responsibility we take equals the better we will feel about ourselves. And third, think. You don't know what the fuck to do in your life because you are always distracted. You need to feel bored and eventually these negative thoughts that you have in your head will stop. And when you get past this little monster, you will find that your mind is kind of a gold mine. So after you experience things, or while you're experiencing them, reflect on this. Reflect on how you're feeling, reflect if you see yourself doing this for a long period of time of your life. Not forever, because your purpose can change, there is not one purpose, but see if you are willing to maintain this for a long period of time. Suck it up, try new shit. Accept that failure doesn't exist and realize that the only one that will save yourself is actually yourself. The pursuit of your highest quality version is the first step to leave a footprint in this world. Learn about discipline, order and chaos, routines, productivity, but also let your creativity flow. Create new stuff and actively seek to provide value to society. You are feeling like shit right now because deep down you know that you could be doing better. You know that you have all of this capability, but you can't seem to get it right. So you're consuming to avoid and your head notices. Take responsibility, try, connect, improve, and you'll see that everything slowly but surely starts to come together. I believe in you. Slowly but surely, one step at a time, aim to your highest quality self.